this week on Goofin' Off. An epidemic is sweeping the nation, causing millions to stay locked in their rooms. Its name, Halo 4. And we stopped by the midnight release to see where it all started. The Akron Comic Con leaves many of the Goofin' Off crew members broke, with nothing except classic comics and Mega Man action figures. And with Halo 4 keeping gamers locked away and out of class, we give you all the reasons it's worth sacrificing your GPA just to kill one more alien. Welcome to another episode of Goofing Off. I'm Danny Mars. Uh... Oh, and I'm Alex Nassos. What's wrong with you, Alex? You and your hipster buddy spending too much time sipping lattes, blogging about your non-conformist ideals? <laughs> hipster? Danny, I'm no hipster. I was up all night playing Halo 4, that's all. Did you actually stand in line and wait to get the game? <laughs> Who pays full price for games anymore? I just waited and got it at a second-hand store. Whatever. Let's take a look at all the gamers who decided to stand in line. Was it too mainstream? When Goofing Off went to the midnight release of Halo 4. Do you think that the 343 Studios are going to make big changes as opposed to the Bungie game? Um, well, clearly they made big changes to the formula, and I'm actually quite happy to see these changes. It's a nice, refreshing change of pace, and I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it. I think it would be better just because there's a new producer doing it, they have new ideas, and they can probably do a little bit more than, than, than Bungie could. I've watched a lot of the trailers, and they wanted, they had the same respect for the game line, and I feel like they truly wanted to make the game just as good as the other first three. Now in this new game, Master Chief and Cortana are the only two left to fight all these new enemies. How do you think their character development and things are going to map out in this next game? I'm, I'm actually really interested to find that out, but uh, personally I think we're going to see different kind of a bond between them that we haven't seen up until now. Um, maybe some harbored feelings maybe from the uh, artificial intelligence to you know the big guy but um, but yeah I'm definitely really interested to see how that's gonna pan out. Um, I think the new enemies are outrageous and they are crazy and I am looking forward to playing with them a lot and defeating them and killing them. Do you play multiplayer a lot? What's your favorite uh, weapons combo? Um, I would say it'd be the DMR and the assault rifle. What about your map? What's your favorite map? Um, I would say it's Hemorrhage because it reminds me of Blood Gulch. I'm a, I'm a big fan, obviously Valhalla, you know, if you like snipers, um, you know, I, I like the pit from Halo 3, that was always good times. Um, what's that? <laughs> you know, I'm really hoping to see a return of that, of uh, Blood Gulch or some form of it, that would be great. That was, I mean, you know, classic, you know, back land party, absolutely. Alright, so Danny. All these new games coming out, what's your game of choice? Halo 4 or Black Ops 2? Um, I'm not sure I get the concept of either game. Halo 4 has zombies in space, right? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> Halo 4 is aliens, Call of Duty is zombies. <laughs> you can't just go mixing characters in games. You could create a rift in the gaming universe. I don't know, Alex. Ralph seemed to do it and everything turned out fine. Ralph? Who's Ralph? Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. Come on, Alex, I know animated movies don't fit your avant-garde, elitist style of movies, but you gotta keep up with the times. As if I'd waste my time on that. If Wes Anderson didn't direct it, I don't even bother seeing it. Well, maybe Tyler and Luke can change your mind in this edition of Movie Snobs. I'm Tyler Stackpole, and joining me this episode for Movie Snobs is Luke Janisco. How's it going? I'm in a fair mood. I'm just surprised I could actually pull you away from your 30-second viewing of Twilight Breaking Dawn to do this review. My name's Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! So, what'd you think about the movie Wreck-It Ralph? I'll tell you, Tyler. It made me want a sucker real bad. You know, because of Sugar Rush. Right. For those of you who don't know, Sugar Rush is a video game in the movie that Ralph lands in accidentally. This was one of my major problems with the movie. Oh, here we go. Ralph, you are a bad guy, but this does not mean you're a bad guy. From the preview, it looked like there would be a lot of iconic video game characters and levels in the movie. Ralph only briefly went to one game and then spends the rest of the movie in another. 
Well, I'm sorry the movie creators didn't want to appease your gamer attitude and spend half the movie having video game cameos with Leisure Suit Larry or Wild Woody. Where's Ralph? <laughs> oh, sorry, Cubert. It's me, Ralph. Those are video game characters? You don't know anything about video games, and clearly you know even less about movies. Wreck-It Ralph had Jane Lynch, Sarah Silverman, and John C. Riley, all phenomenal voice actors. Well, Fa, no, listen, nah, you stop. Meh, no, listen. no, phenomenal. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. I'm okay. I'm okay. Could you let me finish one sentence? If I do, this segment's gonna get real boring. Look, this was a bad movie. They spent the entire time in one level, and they say that they're a video game movie. Not only that, but all it was was a bunch of cameos. There was no real story to it. We're doomed! They're gonna pull our plug! I'm sorry, Record Ralph didn't live up to your standards, sport. I guess you'd rather go watch The Big Lebowski for the 127th time because of your man crush on Jeff Bridges. You probably want to rub his feet, don't you, you creep? Hey! Aha! You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Aha! You hit a guy with glasses. That's, that's well played. All right, look. This is getting way off topic. My man crush on Jeff Bridges has nothing to do with Wreck-It Ralph. You want to get back on topic? Why don't you tell the viewers what we were originally going to go review and why we couldn't? You know what? I'd much rather talk about my man crush on Jeff Bridges. Let's go back to that. If you aren't going to share the story, I will. We were supposed to go see Skyfall, but we missed a viewing, so we had to settle for Wreck-It Ralph. And why was that, Tyler? We were on our way there, and what? Come on. We were on our way there, and what happened? I got so excited that I wet myself. He wet himself, everybody. How old are you, 42? I'm 21. Same difference. A 42-year-old man wet himself. I am bad. <laughs> That's good. I will never be good. No, 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 no. And that's not bad. Hold that thought. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Look, you and Troy and everybody here, all you ever do is make fun of me. I don't need this. Relax, diaper baby. Go take some of your anxiety pills. Well, just, just leave me alone. Man, Tyler better go see his therapist. You know, I caught him in the bathroom before the show. He was literally just standing in front of the mirror, giving himself a pep talk. I guess if he doesn't do it, no one else will. Tyler's parents don't even like him. His dad became an astronaut just to get out of a camping trip with him. Wait, why would his dad go to space just to get out of playing Call of Duty? What? Camping. How your girlfriend sees so it. What are we doing in your mom's basement? Oh, my mom's afraid that we'll be eaten by bears if we go outside in our suburban backyard. And how your boyfriend sees it. Camping. When a player stays in one spot and kills enemy players from afar. You know, I feel like that gamer glossary really helps out a relationship, Danny. It's like it was made just for us. Except for the fact that we aren't dating and I'm not your girlfriend. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I... I thought that's why we were hosting the show together. While Alex comes to the realization that he'll probably be single forever, Let's take a break.